Welcome! In Power BI, when creating a report, each element of a visual requires consideration. This video focuses only on the column headers of tables and some small items to perhaps consider in the design to aid the end user with their understanding of the table. I will do small cosmetic changes to the column headers and as my table contains abbreviated header descriptions, I will create a pop-up box to aid users understand the descriptions. In Power BI, this report is still very much in its early stages. I have set up a table on the page which contains some finance information. We are looking at months, an item, its turnover, COS, which stands for cost of sales, its gross profit, indirect costs, and EBITDA. I will come back to these abbreviations in a moment. The first thing I will do is turn my attention to the colour of the headers. To do that, with the table selected, I will click on the Format section in the Visualisation pane. In Format, under Column Headers, I will click on the background colour. And for this report, I'm going to use this dark blue colour. It's a bit dark blue purplish, but throughout this video, I'm just going to refer to it as dark blue. So I click on that. My text colour is now not readable, so I need to change the colour of my text. So all I do again is click on the text colour box and I will change mine to white. We have changed the colours of the headers and it's now in line with the colours that our end user would like to see iterated throughout their report. Another way I could have changed the colour of the column headers is to go to View. Then in the theme section, I could select any of these themes. So let's see what happens when I click on this one here called City Park. The column headers change to the colours within that theme. I'm going to put mine back to the previous colours and to do that, I will just go back and click on the default theme. And we're back where I started a moment ago. The next thing I will look at is the alignment of the columns. If you look at the headers, they are all left aligned, but the column contents for those with numeric values are right aligned. I would like my column headers to use the same alignment as the contents of the table. With my table selected in the format section in specific column, I will click the drop down. And then where it says series, I will change it from month by clicking on the drop down list and selecting turnover. Where it says apply to header, I'm going to switch that to on. And then scroll down slightly more. And in the alignment section in values, I will click the right align symbol. And if you now look in the table, you will see the word turnover is now right aligned. I can now repeat this step for all the other financial headings. I've now repeated the step that I took for turnover for all the other numeric columns. And as you can see, they are now all right aligned, whereas month and item remain left aligned. The only other thing I am going to add to the page in relation to the column headers is a pop-up box. And the reason for considering doing a pop-up box is my column headers contain abbreviations and all the users of the report might not understand what these abbreviations mean. In this video, I'm not going to walk through all the steps to create the pop-up box because there is an excellent video on YouTube which Guy and Acube have done on pop-up boxes and have essentially followed their same principles. For my pop-up box, I have set up a rectangle and on top of that rectangle, I've placed a table. My table contains 
three columns. The first column is called header and contains the descriptions used in the table column headers. Then there is a fuller description of these headers and then I've provided them a link to Wikipedia where they can learn more about what some of these descriptions mean. I will click on my table because I'd like to change the column headers but this time I'd like to change the column headers in a slightly different way. So in format, under style presets, rather than default I'm going to change the drop down to bold header. I can then go down to column headers and change my background colour. I'll select the dark blue, which I've used elsewhere. So it's just another way of formatting the header. That is then my pop-up complete. All I did was add buttons to allow the pop-up to function. So such that if the user clicks on the X, the pop-up disappears and all the user needs to do to see the abbreviations is click on the I button and the pop-up appears. I can place this pop-up anywhere on the page, but given that I'm still in the process of setting up the report, I've just put it at the bottom for demonstration purposes. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to hear more from me, please click the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.